Thank you so much for joining me once again. My name is Ngozi Adelaye, founder of Crunch Econometrics. And in this video, I will be showing you how to perform the Sagan test for instruments exogeneity. There are two ways by which you can specify your hypothesis. Either you specify it as the first one, as um, over identifying restrictions are valid, which is a null hypothesis against the alternative that those restrictions are not valid. Or you can simply specify it as the null hypothesis instruments are exogenous against the alternative that they are endogenous. So these are the steps that you can engage to perform the Sagan instrument exogeneity test. First of all, estimate the structural model. Go ahead to obtain the predicted residuals. Then estimate an auxiliary regression. I will explain what that is. In that auxiliary regression from that result, check for the statistical significance of the coefficient of the instrument. If that coefficient is significant statistically, it implies that a duke is endogenous. But if that coefficient is not significant, statistically it shows that a duke is exogenous. You can proceed to perform a Sagan F-test on the instruments. Check out the p-value of the F-statistic. If it is above 0.05, the null hypothesis of instrument exogeneity is sustained. Otherwise, we reject that null hypothesis. So let us proceed to STATA to perform the Sagan instrument exogeneity test. So here I have the code and I'm going to explain to you what I wrote here. The first one is the structural model where we have IV reg, the syntax, log of which dependent variable, a duke is endogenous and we are using two instruments, okay? Then we have the two independent variables. I am controlling for heteroscedasticity, so I'm using robust option. I want to predict the residual from that regression, so here's the predict command. Once I'm done with that, I will proceed to perform the auxiliary regression. This is an auxiliary regression because the dependent variable is the predicted residual. So you are regressing the predicted residual on the instruments and other independent variables, okay? After that, we'll test for the instruments, whether they are relevant or not. So I'm going to highlight all and execute. So we have our results on the screen right here. This is the first one, the structural equation estimated, okay? From there, we predicted the residual. And after that, we perform the auxiliary regression. This is what we are mostly interested in, the auxiliary regression, the results from here. First thing first, we need to find the two instruments and see whether their p-values are significant. What we need is p-values that are not significant to reflect exogeneity, and which is what is here. So the p-values of both instruments are not significant which shows that a duke is exogenous. Now, testing both of them using the Sagan F-test, you can see the combined, the joint um, significance is 0 0.80, showing that the two instruments are exogenous. So this is how you test using these approaches, okay? Another way you can test is when you use status inbuilt over ID or over identification syntax, okay? So this is the code. I'm estimating the IV regress two state list squares. This is the structural model. And after that, I will just invoke the S start over ID. Okay. So I'm highlighting both now and executing. So this is the structural equation using two state list squares. This is the result. So by now you are familiar with all this. And what we are mostly interested in is the result from the over ID test, which is this. The P value well above 0 0.05 and even at the 10 percent level so this one shows that the instruments are relevant the instruments are exogenous so this is how you can use the sagan test if you need to test for any of this so these are the diagnostics that often follow iv estimations so i'm going to wrap up from the uh, from the powerpoint slides here these are the results i showed you from the um structural model for the Sagan test, okay? Structural model, then you extract the residual, which is what we did. And um, this is an auxiliary regression, don't forget. When your dependent variable is a predicted residual, 
and uh, you are regressing that on other indicators in your model, you are performing an auxiliary regression. Don't forget your hypothesis so that you can know how to interpret correctly. The p-value, don't forget 0 0.8061, showing that instruments are exogenous as we cannot reject that null hypothesis. And I showed you that you can straight away use status over ID inbuilt command to test for exogeneity of the instrument. The p-value here is 0 0.055, showing that we cannot reject that null hypothesis, that the instruments are exogenous and that the instruments are valid. These are textbooks that you can engage for further readings. And if you have simpler textbooks that you are familiar with, please go ahead to read it to support my video tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I've enjoyed your uh, participation. And um, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section. Don't forget to download the data. Don't forget to download the do files. Practice, practice, practice. Please don't go away. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.